We're gonna start on our backs with the foam roller under our knees. So just set your roller down onto the ground and then find your way down and just toss your legs over. Out you go, Missy. Okay, so toss your legs over the roller and then lay down onto your back. So we want the roller under our knees so we get a little bent knee position and then come down onto your back, bring your arms into cactus or goalpost arms. So elbows in line with the shoulders, 90 degree bend in the arms, palms facing up towards the ceiling. Let your legs relax. Just kind of get a sense of the foam roller underneath the backs of your knees. And then if it feels good to do so, you're just gonna turn your head side to side noticing the range of motion in your neck. Take one more little turn of the head side to side. And then as your head comes back to center, you're gonna walk your feet in. So you're just gonna kind of ignore the roller underneath your feet. You're gonna walk your feet in so that the knees are in a bent knee position. And now release your arms down alongside your hips with your palms facing down. And now here your fingertips might find the roller, which is cool, because that's gonna give you just a little bit of feedback. So we wanna imagine we're pushing our fingertips into the roller to draw the shoulders down and then relax that position. Push your fingertips into the roller, pushing the roller towards your heels and then relax, and then do that one more time. Push the roller towards your heels, hold that position. So shoulders are drawing down away from the ears. Now take your head and turn your head to the left. Beautiful, bring your head back to center, relax your fingers for a second, and then do it again. Push your fingers into the roller, push the roller towards your heels, shoulders draw down, turn your head to the right. Nice, and then bring your head back to center, relax your hands, walk that roller in, and now we're gonna pick the butt up and roll that roller underneath your butt. So underneath your tailbone, underneath your hip bones, make sure it's in a good position and it feels really super supportive. And then feet are about hip distance apart. And then everything is just gonna soften here. Let your hands come out at your sides in anatomical position. So about 45 degrees away from the body with palms facing up. Let your shoulder head soften down, invite a little softness into your neck. And then we just wanna invite a little chilling out here. Chill out in your front of your hips, soften in your belly, take a couple of nice deep breaths. Take one more breath. And then you're just gonna reach your hands down and just see if you can hold on to the ends of the roller just to offer a little support so it's not moving all over the place out from underneath you. You're gonna pick your right knee up into a tabletop position and then see if you can pick your left knee up to meet. And then we wanna tune in for a second, get a sense of where those front hip bones are, hold on to your roller and keeping your hip bones as stable as you can, we're gonna alternate our toe taps. So there's not gonna be a lot of rocking or movement of your hips on the roller. Most of the work is gonna come out of that hip hinge. So you're gonna lower your toe down towards the ground and then pull it back up with control. So we're finding control from our center. The abdominal muscles are gonna help control that lift and lower with control through the front of the hip. Awesome, take one more toe tap each side or just even yourself out. And then once you've got both sides evened out, let your knees soften towards your chest. And then if you need to, you'll hike up your butt and rearrange your roller so it's still underneath your tailbone and under your hip bones. But once you feel like you've got it in a good position, you're gonna draw your knees in circles, go in one direction. Awesome, and then draw your knees in circles, go the other way. Beautiful, and then bring it back to center. Keep the right knee in, set your left foot down onto the ground. We're gonna send that right heel up towards the ceiling, point the toe, 
reach your toe nice and long toward your shin and then lift that leg right back up. Reach your toe nice and long, lower past your knee if you can, and then lift that leg right back up. One more on this side, reach the toe nice and long, lift it right back up and then bend that knee, set it down. We're gonna take it to the other side. Pick the left leg up, point the toe up towards the ceiling, reach long through the toe, reach it past your other knee. Beautiful, lift it back up nice and high. Reach nice and long and lift it back up. Awesome, one more just like that. Reach nice and long and then lift it right back up. Beautiful, bend your knee, set that foot down back to that supported bridge. Let everything chill out for a second. Take a nice deep breath in. Nice, slow breath out. Cool, and then we're just gonna lift the hips up away from the roller, move the roller out from underneath your butt, and then we're gonna sit ourselves up and place our butt onto the roller on a seat, but we just wanna come up with the way that we can control it. So lift your hips up, set your butt onto that roller, and then step your feet so that they're about hip or shoulder width distance apart and just find a little windshield wiper action with the knees. Nice, take one more swish of the knees side to side, and then we're gonna go a little bigger with that movement. So roll over onto one hip and then take it over to the other side. Nice, and then the next time you come over onto the right, stay there. Give it a couple of nice good rolls up and down. Here we're trying to stay on the outside of the glutes. So finding the, the side butt muscles, if you will, rolling up and down. And we want to stay just in that, that side of that hip area. So we're not rolling down the side of the thigh. Nice. One more roll up and down. And then when you're ready, take it over to the other side. Lean all the way over to the left, staying on the side of the glute. Roll yourself up and down. Beautiful, one more roll up and down and then bring it back to center. Step your feet just to a comfortable distance that you can keep a nice supported grounding with your feet. Grab hold of your right leg and we're just gonna do that twist and turn. So you're gonna grab a nice firm hold of that muscle tissue and then twist it like you're twisting the muscles on your bones. So you're just gonna twist it to the right, twist it to the left and then just take it up and down. So we work up towards the knee joint and then down towards the hip. Cool, take one more little twist up and down, and then we're gonna take it to the other side. Grab hold of that thigh and just start to work up and down. Allow a looseness in the muscle tissue, so let your hands do the manipulating here. Nice, take one more up and down here. <clears throat> And then when you're ready, you're gonna release your handhold, step your left foot in, and then take your right foot into an external rotation. So we're gonna float the foot in, but the knee is gonna be turned out to the left and the right. And now you're gonna, or turned out to the right. Grab the back of the thigh and your hand's gonna do the work. You're gonna pick the knee up and lower it down. So hopefully you're finding a little massage down into the glute, but you're moving the leg manually with your hand. Awesome, one more up and down just like that and then step that foot into a nice firm position and take it to the other side. Let the left knee drop out, use your hand, grab the outside of your thigh, lift the leg up and let your arm do the work. Beautiful, one more up and down. And now we're gonna take it into a figure four. So maybe you'll set your left leg out nice and long so that you can bring the right leg across. And then if that feels like a good enough position, hands behind you or hold onto the roller, we're gonna slide that left leg in, push into your hands or push into the roller so you get that nice uplifted chest. Notice that stretch through the outside of the hip. Take a nice big breath. Great, and then if it feels good to do so, you're gonna roll over onto the right and then give a couple of rolls up and down.
One more good roll up and down. And then when you're ready, bring it back to center. Slide that left leg long, step your right foot off, give your knees a little bounce, make sure everything feels good. And then we're gonna take it to the other side. So left leg is gonna step across the right, slide that right leg in, push into your hands, find that nice tall lifted chest, and then just make sure everything feels good here. If you need to make any rearrangements, do your thing. But if it's all feeling good, lean over to the left and give a couple of good rolls up and down. Awesome, one more good roll up and down. And then when you're ready, bring it back to center, slide that right leg long, step the left leg off, hands to the roller, we're just gonna pick the butt up off the roller and then set your butt down, move it right underneath the shoulder blades. So just walk that roller back, find that space right below the shoulder blades, hands behind the head, inhale as you lean back, exhale as you squeeze the abdominal muscles and come up, inhale and lean back, exhale and contract the belly. Beautiful, take a few more just like that. Just take it at your pace. Nice, and then the next time you come to that lifted position, keep your hands behind the back, push into your feet, lift your hips up, and take a light glide here. So think about staying in that bottom half, the shoulder blade portion. So maybe you're rolling about an inch or two, not a big grand movement. And then when you're ready, set your butt back down, crisscross your arms, one on top of the other, and then we're just gonna rock a little side to side, still staying in that lower portion of the shoulder blades. Beautiful, come back to center, switch the cross in your arms, other arm on top and then right back to that rock. Nice, one more little rock side to side. And then as you come back to center, arms are gonna come into that cactus or goalpost position, lift your hips up and now take a big roll all the way up to the tops of the shoulders, let your arms kind of move with you. And then as you bring it back down to the bottom of the shoulders, let your elbows pull in with you. Nice, take one more good roll up and down. And then as you come towards the top of your shoulders, soften your butt down, but keep a little bit of engagement in the upper body so you can lift your head up, move the roller out from your shoulders and then place it underneath your head like a pillow. So underneath your skull bone, make sure it's in that nice strong structure and then hands to the roller if that feels good to just keep it in place, but we're just gonna find a gentle rock of the head side to side. If that handhold isn't necessary, just let your arms be out in anatomical position. The next time your head turns to the right, stay there and give a little nod of the head up and down. Awesome, and then when you're ready, turn your head to the left and give a little nod of the head up and down. Wonderful, one more nod up and down and then bring your head back to center, grab the ends of your roller, lift your head up with control, move the roller out from underneath you, but we're just gonna bring it up so that your arms come into that goalpost or cactus position and then let your head rest back down on the ground. With your arms in that goalpost position, turn your head a little side to side. One more turn of the head side to side. And then as your head comes back to center, you're gonna step, step your feet down to the end of your mat, reach your roller up and overhead. We're gonna take one roll up here. So take a nice big inhale. As you exhale, pull the abdominal muscles down, curl up the head, neck and chest, take your roller with you, reaching past your toes if you can. 
and then placing the roller onto your shins, put a little press, and then we're gonna press and roll. So bring it up to the knees, but we're not gonna roll the knees, and then back down to the ankles. Wonderful, one more good roll up and down. And then as you come on up, slide that roller underneath your backs of your knees. And we're gonna take it into that roller walk. So we're just gonna walk down the backs of the calves towards the ankles and then walk it back up to where the knees meet the back of the calf. Nice, and then the next time you come down to the bottom of the ankles, stay there, hands on the ground, lean back just a little bit so you can relax into that. Let your legs get a little soft and then just a little swish of the toes side to side. Beautiful, and then when you're ready, walk the roller in just a little bit, find that middle portion of your calf, that nice thick meaty part, and then back to the swish of your toes. Nice, one more little swish of the toes side to side. And then when you're ready, move it on up, up to the top part of the calf muscles. So find that nice spread of the muscles. And then once you feel like you're there, swish your toes side to side. Beautiful, one more little swish of the toes side to side. And then we're gonna flip on over into a tabletop position. And then we're gonna take the roller so that we can place it underneath the hips. So find your tabletop position first, place that roller underneath your hips and then lower yourself on down. So we wanna bring it directly across the hip bones, but give yourself support here. Knees on the ground, elbows and forearms down. So we're not putting too much weight or pressure on that front of the hips because the front of the hips don't have a lot of, a lot of meat. There's not a lot of like muscle texture there. So we just don't wanna put too much pressure on those hip bones. Once you feel like you're there, we're gonna start to just shift the weight slightly. So push into your right elbow and then push into your left elbow. Just finding a little bit of control here. And then once you feel like you've got a good sense of control, your shoulders are supporting, knees are helping support, then roll over onto the side of your right hip. So my right knee is down on the ground, my left foot supporting, my arms are helping give a little support. And then if it feels comfortable to do so, give a nice gentle roll up and down with as much pressure on as feels good to you. So your shoulders and your legs help support how much weight you put on the roller. Awesome, take one more roll up and down. And then when you're ready with control, bring it back to your center, line up those hip points, find that little rock side to get side again. So push into one elbow and then push into the other. So we find that control first. And then once you feel like you've got that control, roll over onto the left hip, arms help support, legs help support. And then once it feels like a good enough pressure, give a small and gentle roll up and down. Beautiful, one more roll up and down, and then with control, bring it back to center. And now we're gonna hike the hips up so that we can move the roller underneath the thighs. So now we're gonna come into the tops of the thighs, elbows and forearms down, toes on the ground, find a little bit of a firmness in your center. So think about pulling your abdominal muscles up, broaden your shoulders, and then once you've found that support, rock yourself forward and back. Nice, and then at the bottom of that roll, stay there. Bend your knees, keep your belly firm and supportive. Take a little swish of the heel side to side. Awesome, and then we're just gonna do that little alternating kick, kick maneuver. So one toe touches the ground and then the other. Nice, one more little kick, kick here, and then both knees bent, and we're just gonna take a little point and flex to the feet. 
Beautiful. And then when you're ready, set your toes back down to the ground. You're either going to slide yourself up or manually move that roller down a little bit. So we're now finding our way into the middle of the thigh. Firm up your center, draw your abdominal muscles in, broaden your shoulders, and then rock yourself forward and back. Beautiful. At the bottom of that roll, stay there. Firm up your belly, bend your knees, take a little swish of the heels side to side. Awesome. And then bring it back to center and alternate that little kick, kick maneuver. So one toe touches the ground and then the other. Cool. And then both knees bent, point and flex the feet. Wonderful. And then float those toes back down to the ground and either remove yourself up or move the roller down. So now we're coming down to that lower part of the thighs. Make sure it feels like it's in a good position. Again, firm up your belly, broaden your shoulders, toes on the ground, rock yourself forward and back. We're gonna stay off of that knee joint. So we're just staying in that top part of the thighs where there's lots of muscle. Beautiful. And then at the bottom of that roll, bend your knees. Swish your heels a little side to side. Now in this lower portion of the thighs, it might feel good to stay in a smaller range of motion. So just make sure it feels good. One more little swish side to side and then bring it back to center and alternate those little toe taps. Beautiful. And then bend both knees, point and flex the feet. Cool, and then float those feet down and we're just gonna take a couple of big rolls. So think all the way to the tops of the thighs down to where the thighs meet the knees. Wonderful, and then when you're ready, you're gonna push yourself all the way back, come up into a tabletop position, big toes together, knees to the outer edges of your mat. We're gonna take it back to what in yoga we'd call extended child's pose. So pull your butt back to your heels and then take your roller with. If you're wearing glasses, you might choose to take your glasses off and just set them off onto the side, but elbows are gonna come down to the ground. Your butt's gonna sink back towards your heels and then you're just gonna move that roller on up so you can rest the top of your forehead. So think right where your hairline is, placing your forehead onto the roller. So you're gonna get a little roundness in the back of your neck. Soften your shoulders, soften the space between your shoulder blades, take a couple nice deep breaths. Nice, and then if it feels okay to do so, you're gonna just gently rock your head side to side, still staying up at that point where the forehead meets the hairline. Awesome, one more little rock side to side. And then if it feels good to do so, you're gonna to start to move on up. So think center of the forehead, place your forehead on with as much pressure as feels good to you. And then if it feels good to do so, rock your head lightly side to side. Beautiful, and then when you're ready, bring it back to center, lift your head up one last time, moving it up now to that third eye center or that space right between your eyebrows. Place your forehead on just as much pressure as you can stand. And then if it feels good to do so, rock your head side to side. Nice, one more little rock side to side. 
And then as you bring it back to center, gently lift your head up. If you took your glasses off, go ahead and put them back on real quick. And then in this back position with your butt back towards your heels, you're just gonna pop your elbows up onto the roller. And then just think about letting your chest sink down. So it's not gonna be a big rolling maneuver so much as a stretch to the shoulders. So just let your chest drop down, elbows heavy on the roller, take three nice big breaths. Cool, and then when you're ready, lift yourself up with control. We're gonna lift the butt up, walk the roller forward, walk your knees in so they're about hip width distance apart, and then into our puppy pose stretch. So you're gonna walk your arms out nice and long, keep your hips in line with the knees, let your chest and your forehead sink down and take a nice big breath here. Great, and then we're gonna thread the needle. So you're gonna pull it back in just a little bit, pick your right hand up, Thread through and underneath. So right ear, right shoulder are gonna to reach towards the ground. Left arm is gonna reach let nice and long. Take a nice big breath. And then pull it back up and in. Unwind and take it to the other side. So right hand on the roller, left hand threads through and underneath. Left ear, left shoulder towards the ground. Awesome, and then pull it back up and in. As you walk the roller back in, so you're in that tabletop position, you're gonna curl your toes under with control, lift your hips up into a downward facing dog shape, walk your feet in just a little bit, and then soften your knees so that you can walk the roller towards your feet and give a couple of steamrolls to the tops of the feet. Wonderful, and then leave the roller on the ground. Bend your knees a lot, pull your abdominal muscles in, roll up to a standing position, right foot on the roller, just take a couple of soft rolls to the bottom of your foot. Nice, and then when you're ready, switch to the other foot, right foot down, left foot on the roller and take a couple of nice soft rolls to the bottom of your foot. Beautiful, and then set that foot down, both feet on the ground, take a nice big breath, reach your arms up and overhead, bend your knees, hinge from your waist, fold yourself forward, let your hands touch the roller, take one good breath in that folded position. And then bend your knees a lot, pull your abdominal muscles in, roll back up to standing. You guys are amazing, holy smokes, you guys worked hard today. Oh, we squatted the heck out of the Friday.